this is a multi lane d60 relay now this is the menu key this is right arrow left arrow up arrow down arrow right arrow is used to enter into a menu left arrow is used to come out of that menu left arrow and escape key functions are similar and here right arrow key acts as the enter as well and i don't know what enter does so to see the fault record first we will go press menu repeatedly and we want to see here fault actual values inside actual values we will find the fault records so we will repeatedly click the menu key here we have actual values after getting the actual values we will wait for some time and we will see a records option here we can use the up and down arrow key to choose from the different menus appearing here from here we will choose records then we, we will use the right arrow key to enter into records then we have fault reports then again we will press the right arrow key we have fault uh, we have four fault records fault reports and here the higher the number highest number is the latest record so we can use the up and down arrow key to choose which report we want to see I want to see the latest report so I will keep it as 4 then again I will use the right arrow here I have the fault 4 and the information about the fault 4 is written here below I will use the down arrow key to see the different parameters here I have the date here I have the time of the fault ag here uh, fault is written in uh, not in terms of r by b but instead in terms of abc G is for earth fault. Here it is the fault location. Here resistance, reactance, and then back. To go back, we will press the left arrow. If I want to see some different fault record, then I, I will press the down arrow key. Suppose I will I want to see the second report. Again, right arrow key, and I have the second report. Go back, go back, go back. So, this is how to check fault record in a multi lane D60 trailer. Thank you.